Did I really commit without that one change? Again, you're finishing some work. Phew. It's time to commit with a good commit message. But as soon as you commit, you realize you left something out. Good news, the IDE makes amend commit really easy. Make your change. If you haven't pushed, go back to the commit and check amend. When you commit, your change is now included. That's a quick glance. Let's take a deeper look. Here's the problem, and this happens to me a lot. You do a bunch of work, such as write the markdown for this tip and update some thumbnails. You can see the changes. At this point, you're really excited or really exhausted. You want to declare victory with a commit. It is at this exact point that you remember one of those cleanup tasks. Maybe it's update the docs. In this case, you forgot to update the date. Are you really going to do another commit or undo the last commit? There's got to be a better way. And yep, there's a better way. Git lets you amend a commit. Yeah, you out there about to tell us it's easy from the command line. We hear you. But some of us civilians feel otherwise. The Git tool window tells you about your last commit and what changed. You want to make a change, get it into that commit as if the change was there in the first place. What are your options? In a previous video, we showed you undo commit. This would put everything back, you make your change, then another commit. Instead, let's get straight to it with amend commit. You make the change. The IDE's commit tool window says you have changes. This is where the IDE can help versus the command line. Maybe you did a lot of changes before remembering the missing piece. You can deselect files or go into files and deselect change regions. Now you're ready, you click amend, and suddenly you're back to where you were when you last committed. Except our new change is considered part of the commit. In our git log, there isn't a new entry, just the same previous commit. When you view the diff for the markdown change, you see the date change is now included. For those that don't trust the convenience, you can look at the git console to see the command which you would have typed from the command line. One last point, what would this look like without a mouse? Follow along with the pop-ups at the bottom. We make a change, open the commit tool, control alt M on Mac to check the amend box, then control enter to commit. For getting something in a commit, that's something I always remember to do. You can read more about this in the IDE help pages, which also cover the intriguing topic of amending a further back commit. And of course, click subscribe. You'll get one of these a week, usually, maybe. And don't forget to visit this tip in the guide where we help you learn your tools, developer to developer. Thanks for watching.